Hey, what's up guys? This is Jax from GMBots.com and today we're going to be going over the bot server tutorial, which is the version of GNBots that runs from your mobile phone or your Mac or your computer. It's basically an online comp uh, cloud computer that you can connect to from any device. And this is a high performance online server um, that you don't need a computer or anything else to be on to run because it runs online from a virtual server um, and this is already set up and ready to go for you um, you don't have to install or download anything so um, basically what you're gonna have to do to start is download what we call remote desktop connection and there are tutorials um, down below that will show you how to connect basically from any device from Android Mac, your computer. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do it from your computer um, because it's easier, you know, to set up, but you can do it from your phone, you know, and everything else. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Um, basically, the first thing is the computer. Uh, that's going to be what this login is what you're going to get when you actually purchase the bot server. You get emailed, an IP, a username, and a password. So go ahead and enter the details that you received. And the computer is the IP, the username is the username that you got, and then click connect. And then it's gonna ask you for the password. Go ahead and put that in and click okay. And then this is gonna pop up, just click yes and don't ask me again so it doesn't do it. And then it's going to actually uh, connect to the server, which is what you see here. So this isn't my computer anymore. This is now um, the cloud computer. That, that's not my computer. It's an online one. So this is what's going to actually power uh, the bot from now on. And it's great if you have a computer that's slow or you don't have a computer at all, because now this is going to run 24 seven, whether you disconnect from this, um, or you leave it running all the time. So, um, from here, the, uh, setup of the bot is the same as the PC version. As you can see, we have the GN launcher. We have multi memu We have a way to restart the computer if we need to and then we have a GN tool which if you want to know more about that you can check out um, our other tutorials. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our other um, tutorial which basically is the same thing it's just going to change the background but I wanted to show you guys at least how to get into this server and exactly you know what it does. So I'll be right back and then we'll be um, ready to go on my actual computer. And we're going to open multi memu Once you get that open, this is what we call the multiple instance manager. This is where all of your accounts are going to show. And you can create new ones or delete old ones. Whatever you have in here, that's what's going to show in the bot uh, as far as your farm accounts go. So I've got a couple in here already. You've probably only got one. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Come down here and click new. Android 5.1 is what you're going to want to be on and it's going to start. Once it starts, you can change the name if you want. Let's just call this um, Farm 2. And uh, the only thing you can't do is put in some weird characters or spaces. Just make sure, you know, it says um, Farm 1, Farm 2 or whatever you want to name it. Don't put anything crazy in there. Um, once you've got that set up, go on over to Settings. And this is important. So you got to make sure that you get all of your menu settings correct. Otherwise, it's not going to work and it's going to crash. So what you want to do is under render mode, change that from OpenGL and put it on DirectX. And that's very important. Make sure it's on DirectX. Uh, you'll be going to, uh, let's see, um, you don't got to mess with anything in there. Um, um, nope, nothing in there. Storage. Okay, it's the other thing that's super important. Cache policy. Click stability. You want the bot to be as stable as possible. So make sure you select that. Um, head on down to, let's see, device info. Phone number. Go ahead and just click generate and whatever comes up, let it come up. And then IMEI. Go ahead and regenerate a new one right there. That makes sure you got 
um, everything on you know a new fresh uh, numbers so then you're gonna come up here skip this go ahead and set this to um, Galaxy S7 Edge and I think that's it network we're good you can click generate on these if you want make sure you got some fresh stuff uh, none of this matters none of this matters English obviously um, and that's it okay so make sure you just hit up those uh, specific ones uh, direct X is important and then the um, changing of the stability is important and then generating these so once you got that done you're good to go now it's important you've got to get those changed on every one so I've got to do this also here you know um, what what you can do is just do batch create if you want to make a ton of them you know and that will um, let's see they've changed this all up new batch there it is batch create Android 5.1 so you can actually set these up in here a little bit so that way um, when you create let's say I want to create three boom it'll it'll do that for you but you still want to go in to make sure that everything's good to go you know before you start so once you got that set up now we're gonna actually set up the farm account itself so we'll go in and we'll start with I don't know farm one right here I'm gonna delete this is Mimu I think is the first one that gets put in there I always delete that thing out I don't let anything be in here other than what I created um, so you can delete that uh, first one out if you like but go in click start and then Mimu is gonna actually load up might take a second on the first one all right guys we're back we got that farm account finally loaded up and the first thing you're gonna see is the Mimu guide you can read through that if you want or just close it out because we're gonna guide you through everything and then it's gonna bring you to your main home screen and the first thing we got to do is update Google Play Games. So you're going to go to the search and you're going to type in Google Play Games, hit enter. And depending on how long you've waited, it might say it's updating a couple apps. And um, if it does, just let it run or you can just cancel them and, and do it later. But this is important. You got to get in here and update. So it's going to ask you for your Google account so this is going to be the Gmail account that is connected to your game account so if you have three farms when we do this you're gonna have three accounts in multi Mimu, one two and three and each one of these are gonna have a different Gmail account that is connected to your game account and once you've got that set up you'll be able to go in here farm one we're gonna go in here well actually we're running meme u5 but you get the point first account come in here add your gmail account click enter and then it's gonna ask you for your password of course I can't remember it it's gonna ask you all this stuff click I agree And then to the bottom accept now you've got your Google account added you're gonna come over and you're gonna click update and then Google Play is gonna update all right once it's updated click the back button click menu and then come down to where it says settings click that go to auto update apps and turn off auto update so select don't auto update apps and that's because you don't want the game every time they release an update which some of these games are like six times a week you don't want it to update and change something and then the bot not work so make sure that's turned off okay so now that we've got auto update turned off the next thing we're gonna do is actually install the game but we're not gonna do it here in multi Mimu because there's a chance that the game version that they're using is not what the bot is using so you want to make sure 
um, that you're on the right one. So once you've got that installed, um, you can, or once you've got Google installed, you can go ahead and close out. Click no reminder. You don't want that thing to pop up every time. And then close out completely. So now we're ready to open the actual bot. So you're going to go into the GN launcher and you're going to right click run as administrator and then click yes. All right, once that opens, we're going to pretend that we play Lords Mobile. So it's going to come down here and you're going to see a second ago updating and then once it's ready, you'll have a check mark. Come up to Lords Bot or obviously whatever game it is that you play and click it. And you're going to see enter license key. Please enter your license key or activate your free trial. So if you've bought a license key, you can go ahead and type it in here. Otherwise, you can activate um, your free trial, which you get two hours every day. So we're just going to play as if we're activating our free trial. Click it and then the bot is going to actually open. And um, what it's going to do first is download all the game images that the bot uses. Um, give it a second and let those um, download and the bot get set up. And usually it takes a little bit longer on the first try. Um, after that, you know, it shouldn't take near as long. Okay, so now that we've got uh, the images downloaded, the next thing we're going to do is actually install the APK, which is the game. So come up here to where it says download. Click that and it's gonna go it's gonna download the in this case Lords Mobile onto your computer so that we can install it. And this is gonna make sure that you're getting the right version no matter what the game has done because it's the one that the bot is gonna use. So give that a second. Um, once it gets downloaded onto your computer, what we're gonna do is go into accounts. And these are the farm accounts that we talked about earlier that um, are shown in multi -Memu. So whatever you set up here, that's what's going to be displayed here. So this is multi -Memu is where you set up um, Google and you set up your Gmail accounts and actually play the game. And then this is the bot, which is the human or you, um, where you're going to tell the meme you what to do and how to bot it and you know what you want to collect and all that good stuff so we've got it yep downloaded it's done and then you're going to want to install it on your game account so to make it easy what you can actually do instead of having to go in these one by one and download on google play once you've got all these set up you can just hold shift click and then come down here and click install app and then the bot is going to go through all of your instances, which are these, and install Lords Mobile or whatever game it is that you play on each one. And this makes it so it's a one click for you instead of having to go in there, you know, whenever there's an update and do each one. So if you've got 100 accounts, you can one click and it will do it all for you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off until we are done installing on all the accounts and then we will be right back to keep going. All right, so now that we got the game installed and the APK version downloaded is yes, shown right there, we're going to actually set the game settings that are required by the bot. So what we're going to do is go into multi Memu, and I'm using Memu 5. I'm going to go ahead and delete these out just so it bot doesn't get confused. should sync right there perfect okay let's go in here and start up the game so basically each game has its own settings that are required for the bot to work lords mobile um, doesn't actually have very many you just want to make sure that your game language is in english but other of them do have more so you'll have to go into the guide and actually see what is required by your game so this is what the new brand new account looks like whenever we just loaded it up. Um, some games will make you go through a tutorial to get there. Um, as you can see, I'm a level one here. So this is not my account because it's not bound to anything yet. So what I got to do is go in the settings account. And as you can see, this obviously isn't me switch account. 
sign in with Google. And all these games are pretty much the same. That's how it looks. Select your account and click OK. Confirm. So now what it should do, oh, allow, OK. Restart. So now what it should do is actually load up my actual game account that is connected to that Gmail account. And that's how you load up a farm account. So you're going to do this for every instance that you have. Bring up the account. And if you're making new accounts, then all you have to do is type in a Gmail and, you know, start from here. But um, so that's what it's going to look like whenever you're done. It'll bring up your new account. And obviously, I didn't have an account bound to Lord's Mobile on that Gmail that I use, but that's okay. And once you've got um, your account shown up and you click in there, you're good to go with Mimu. You can actually close it out. You've changed your game settings. Your account is level 5 or higher, and um, you've got uh, the game installed. You're going to come over to the bot itself. So close out Mimu. Come over to the bot. There you're going to double click your account name and it's going to bring up the actions. So this is where you actually tell the bot itself what to do. So let's say I wanted to gather resources. I could deselect all this, come down here to gather resources, say yes, that's what I want you to do. And I want you to gather stone and food and I want you to search up and right and at the same time gather gold whatever it is that you want and each one of these as you can see has a little hint um, text at the bottom down here so if you get confused look it up and if you still don't understand you can see the guides or come into live chat and we'll we'll help you out but it's pretty self-explanatory you know train troops what infantry level do you want who do you want to train and all of these look different for each game so once you get all of your actions set and you've decided the things that you want it to do, go ahead and close it out and it's going to show a green check mark here. And that means that account is ready to go. And in order for the bot to work, all of your accounts that are listed here need to have a check mark on them. So once you're done, then you're ready to actually start the bot's, bot itself and let it run. So come over to the main screen, click start. And it's going to start up Mimu, and it's going to get to work. So that's pretty much it for the installing um, of the bot in Mimu. If you have any questions at all, please join us in live chat. We will be more than happy to help guide you through all of this stuff. Um, and as always, happy botting. Good luck, guys.